Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to some more Thimbleweed Park. This is part 4, I believe, by the time I'm recording this. So, previously we've collected many specks of dust, and now we are in flashback mode. Uh, to what happened to Franklin. Uh. Ah! Can I get can I? I'll just push this button. Ah, oh, thank you. Hey, dude, what's your damage? <coughs> what's that jacket you're wearing? <coughs> the latest Sorry. and greatest jacket. It zips in the front. Whoa. Don't those jackets do that? <sighs> you're too old to understand. What's on your face? They're the latest and greatest nose glasses from the Jason the News Guy adventure game from Mucus Phlegm Games. Mucus Phlegm. No one knows who I am. <laughs> What's on your feet? The latest and greatest Reeboks. I just got them. Aren't they rad? Whoa, can you say that? What's with all the latest and greatest? I'm not grody like you. Everyone knows that unless you've got the latest and greatest, you might as well barf. I'm not risking my reputation by touching anything that's not like the latest and greatest. Well, uh. What if I said you didn't have the latest yeah. and greatest stuff? How about that, oh, kid? Out. All my stuff is totally the latest and the greatest. Your glasses. Your glasses are not the latest and greatest. These glasses gotta be the latest and greatest. No, did they? Did something newer come out? <laughs> nah, you're wigging. I can't trust a dweeb like you. I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Uh, sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk bodacious? like Bodacious? Uh, I know this gnarly I dude. I know this gnarly dude who... Uh, was on MTV? Was on MTV and... Nah. Tell me what's wicked and what will gag me with the spoon. Yeah, cause YOLO is now. Um, cat's pajamas is kind of old. What's hip that maybe nineties? So let's Tell say me what's wicked. wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon? Whoa, you're legit. I totally believe you know what's tight right now. When you've got something new and sick, I'll trade you. Until then. I'm gonna rock out. Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? Well, hold on. I'll just push this button here. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Uh, let's go ahead and give you. Dude, check out this rad new pillow bear. It's righteous, big time righteous. I'll do you a favor and trade you. You do that for me? Oh, sick. Who? What do you want to trade? Uh, for your glasses. I'll trade you the bear for your glasses. No faking. Gag me. Your glasses totally make you look like a dweeb. No, duh! <laughs> it sounds Take like an old... Then. It really Wait, does sound like a dad trying to hip with the kids. First, here's my used gum for your collection. Thank uh, you. I don't have a gum collection. Uh, never mind that. Now give me that bear so I rock it out. Sure, er, dweeb dude. Er, gnarlicious. Er, I can't keep this up. Let's get this over with. Here it is. Sweet! You're ace. Later, dude. Later. Uh, uh, uh oh, can I can I mess up? Nobody can recognize me now with this foolproof disguise. And I don't feel like cleaning up after hotel guests right now. Uh. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri Thimbleweed Park. Hotel County abu. Area. How may I be abu of service? Uh. I'd like to check in. Okay, sir. What's your name, abu, for the booking? Uh. Franklin, um, Frank Zappa. Of course, Mr. Zappa. 
We have a lovely suite of for you on the ninth floor. Your suite has been fitted with the new state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000. It's such new technology, Abu, that we're still fitting out the rooms on the 10th floor. How else may I be Abu of service? I'm going to look at my, I mean, your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Let's go ahead and check out, let's check out this 10th floor. I don't want to pick that up. Can get more stationery. Take all the stationery. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I can. Get the word out. <laughs> the doors are closed. Nine oh four. Yes, only on Tuesdays. Yes, I'm almost ready for our meeting. I've just got to wrap up a couple more things. I'll call you back when I'm ready. What's that monstrosity? A Hoteltron. Chuck must have had them installed recently. I'll have to find a way to stop it recording my meeting. And I still need to get a copy of my amazing prospectus. Then I can keep the original for myself and give a copy to the investors. Doors are closed. Yes, I understand. Uh, okay, so we're gonna make some copies and push lobby. There's an M. I wonder what the M stands for. Uh. Welcome back to the Edmund Hotel, Mr. Zappa. How may I be a boo of service? Uh... Do you have photocopying here? But of course we do, Abu. Abu, Abu, Abu. That is to say, we normally do, but uh, we run out of paper, Abu. Unless I get more paper, Abu, I won't be able to help you out. Could you use this as photocopying paper? That should be all the paper, Abu, I need. What would you like to photocopy? This prospectus document. Sure thing, Abu. That's all I need. I'll be back in a jiffy, Abu. One task done. Now I should go to my room and prepare. The doors are closed. <laughs> Is that gonna happen every time? <laughs> Alright. 
You're on the ninth floor. <laughs> Let's stop being a menace. Um, when you gum, waiting. What was that? I guess it was nothing. Looks like the Tron machines are working perfectly. Who are you, and why do you have a pirate hat? No reaction. Perfect. Now Chuck will have no idea what I do in my meeting. I'm finally ready for that meeting. Better give the investors a call to let them know they can come up. You can come up to my room now. I'm ready. Back to being plain old Franklin. That was quick. No, 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 check the... Oh, it's you. How did you know I was here? He got death raid. Franklin was never seen again. I asked the sheriff for more information, but there was nothing. No body, no Franklin. Some of the more superstitious types claim he's haunting this hotel, but those of us dedicated to fact-finding know that must be poppycock. That's an interesting story. Thanks for all the information. See you later. If you find out anything publishable, stop by the nickel to let me know. Actually, you know what? Let me see something. Be for a bridge? Yes, it would. Um. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. Here we go. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. All right, so we got that, and then can we do anything over here yet? That old tree is blocking the great. The trail ends here at this huge rock wall. Um, wait, can we? I need to stay focused and solve this murder. Shush. Uh, let's see. Okay. No, wait. We need. We need. All right, well then, go ahead and head back to the hotel. <laughs> Four oh six. Let's go ahead and uh. one sheet is enough. Okay. It's a German passport for Boris Schultz. A 
not going through while it's spinning like that. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the tri Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? Do you know what happened to Franklin Edmund? Huh, I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Go on. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. You don't say. That is an Otterino coincidence. What room did he check into? Oh, let me see, Abu, now. It was a Mr. Frank Zappa. Sounds legit. He checked into a room, Abu, on the ninth floor. What should do, Abu? I'd like that room key for our investigation. I'm not sure I should do that without a warrant, Abu. But since there's nothing to see there, I suppose, Abu, I can give it to you. Thank you. Finally. How else may I be a boo of service? What's going on with the front Yeah, uh, what? It does that sometimes, and everyone worries that the hotel's boo-a-hoo haunted. But it usually fixes itself boo -a -hoo. at some point within a couple of That's days. different from How baboo. else may I be a boo of service? Uh, oh. I'm going to check out your, um, interesting lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, a boo. And 904, just going to push the button, push the button, push the button. Not much happened here. Oh, poor Franklin. What was all that about? Why couldn't they see me? I'm dead. Hmm. Well, I guess that's probably what I deserve. Oh no! Why do you say that? Whoa! You joined us in the land of the almost dead. Who are you? I'm Xavier, the head ghost, and I'm in charge of the ghosts. I run a tight ship. Everyone must pull their weight or face the penalties. What do you mean, pull their weight? Don't ask. Time to update the schedule for everyone to follow. Clara, you're on elevator duty. Don't let anyone get to the penthouse. I was just on elevator duty. No arguing. Now, Virgil, keep up the good work on front door duty. Don't let anyone in or out of the hotel. It's about time the living started realizing who's really in charge around here. That doesn't seem right. That's irrelevant. New ghost, you're going to scare at least two people who tried to use the drinking fountain in the lobby. Okay? Everyone to work. What are you waiting for, Clara? Are you alright, girl? By the way, your brother died. <laughs> Chuck's dead? When did that happen? I'm free of Chuck's tyranny. Yay! That is, I know he no more weird spy cameras could. in hotels. I wonder why this head ghost seems so bossy. I've got to scare someone? Hmm. Uh, you think? Maybe I have special powers. Um, okay, well, uh... Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and go down to the lobby. Oh, I can't even switch over until he's done. That tickles. Also surprisingly easy. The elevator isn't on this floor. Uh, okay, um, can I... The elevator isn't on this floor.
Boohoo list. Doop. Doop. You know what? I probably should have had them both be in the elevator at the same time. The effect would be better if someone was using it. I know. Uh, that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> Get real. That's totally not the greatest. What's going on here, Abu? I better jet out of here. Oh, it's just the drinking Abu fountain. As long as it's not something serious, Abu, then I won't have to call our plumbers. Not bad. Now you need to find someone else to scare. Then you'll have met your daily quota. Well, why? Why? I have to get back to work now. Okay. How long are you on door duty for? Until Xavier says we're all done for the day. Now, deep breath. Try that again. Get over here. And you. Get into position. All right. I have to be quick about this. So let's put you. The only explanation for that is the plumbing here is terrible. I don't believe in ghosts, unlike certain other agents. Sorry, that's not the reaction you wanted, is it? What I meant to say was... <laughs> oh my, I'm so shocked and startled. Please save me. <laughs> At least myself. she's humoring him, I guess. Oh my gosh, my mic is peaking so much. The is having a little moment. Oh, it's just the fountain of boo again. Rip. It still doesn't seem serious enough to call the plumbers a boo. Passable. I'm surprised you had it in you. I literally just froze. Time for another ghost meeting. Clara, Virgil, get over here now. Virgil, good work on the door. That should do it for today. New ghost. Average first scares. Keep practicing. Clara, stay on elevator duty. I need some privacy. This is outrageously unfair. Why do the men get to finish for the day? Enough complaining. Do you remember what happened last time? All right, all right. Sorry about him. We don't know who put him in charge. <laughs> Wait, then why are you all just listening to him? Uh, okay. So then, um... Doing that, uh, let's go ahead and go to Main Street. Oh, hello. Stay out of trouble. Yeah, I know I wanted to. Thanks. Give you the passport. Okay, now that I got everything, let's go ahead and go in here. Got that, and then... It's a German passport for Boris Schultz. Use. Okay, cool. So then we just got one more to do. A boo. <laughs> no, don't pick up the door. Open the door. Uh, what's that? Wasn't there a tube up there before? Yes, there was. Uh, so, let's go ahead and swap over to you. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I 
I guess, uh... Ugh, I'm thinking. While my brain is breaking. <laughs> Reyes is both the Specs of Dust guy and the... I don't pick want up to the pick doors, that up. Open the doors. And the arrest report guy. Uh... I've never checked out the bus station before. Speck of dust! <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. I'm afraid I don't have any spare change, miss. I'm a federal agent. Show some respect, or I'll have you booked for solicitation. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. So I suggest you treat me with a little more respect. Tell me about Pillowtronics. Pillowtronics was the brainchild of my uncle, the great entrepreneur and genius inventor Chuck Edmund. The Edmonds made this town great when we opened the Pillow Factory. My family, even my stupid little sister Dolores, might as well be royalty as Dolores? far as Thimbleweed Park is concerned, sweetie. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. Uh. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. How long has it the been there? Does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Who? Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually, no, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Spill the beans, beans. Spill the beans, trust Spill fund the Barbie. Beans, trust fund Barbie. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. What? She abandoned our family and the business to become a. Uh, Leather jacket salesman? salesman. No, 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 no. It was far worse. What's wrong with that? She became. A video game developer. It all started a few years oh, no? back. Uh, she only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus Phlegm. Oh no, Which anything but that. Something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. Alright, well with that start of another flashback, we're gonna go ahead and jump right- I'm gonna stop right here. Well, I haven't saved in a while. How long have I been playing this game for? Two hours and seven minutes. You know what? I'm gonna keep going, and you're gonna see it's all gonna be on August 12th slash 13th. Right, so uh, anyway, I will see you all in the next video where we pick up on Dolores' journey. Bye everybody!